Hey everybody, welcome. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network, restoring vitality to you and the planet. I'm Scott Patton, your co-host, and joining me as usual is Martin Patella, Life Enthusiast Health Coach. Hey Martin, how are you doing today? It's a good day, thank you. Hey, today we have with us from Red Strap, Chase Hudson, the CEO of the company. Hello, Chase. Hey, how are you guys? Thanks for having me. Awesome. So you make hemp oil. Correct. So the number one question everybody asks us is, isn't it illegal? Right, that is the biggest question. So it's not illegal. Um, so hemp-derived CBD um, is not illegal, it's legal because it's derived from um, the hemp plant. So the biggest mis misconception in this market is that uh, you know you have the term cannabis. Um, under that term cannabis you have hemp and then you have marijuana, medical marijuana. The industry is a little bit behind on education because CBD from the hemp plant is the same molecule that is from the medical marijuana plant. And so our company um, derives everything from the hemp plant, um, so that's how we are legal. Yeah, so I, it doesn't I count to in other words. <laughs> sure enough, I wanted to butt in. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And uh, th there's actually a legal regulation that says as long as it's an industrial hemp product, it is exempt, about as exempt as a piece of hemp rope or hemp cloth or hemp seed oil or hemp protein that you have in your breakfast mix. Whereas sure. the whole hemp product, the whole marijuana product that has been grown in the United States usually has too much THC in it to be qualified and classified as this legal product that we can ship to all 50 states and even internationally. Correct. Yep. And the, the legal limit on um, hemp-derived CBD, the federal legal limit, is um, the product has to be um, it's below 3% THC by volume. And so that's, that's the federal standard um, on any hemp-derived CBD product. So you're saying that the that when they make the medical marijuana that they smoke or that gets you high, is that a different plant than the plant that you're getting the extract from or the same plant? Uh, it's a different plant. Um, so the that whole side of it is marijuana, medical marijuana. Um, federally um, illegal, um, depending on which state you're in. Um, each state has, uh, you know, different uh, the different legality, um, but as far as our product, it is hemp-derived CBD um, that is below the federal legal limit, which allows us to ship to all 50 states. Cool. So why would somebody want to add hemp oil to their diet? So hemp oil, so hemp oil is one of, um, it's very, very rich in 369. Um, omega fatty um, acids. Um, our product, CBD, so we have several different lines. Um, you know, our main, our main product is the um, hemp CBD in hemp oil. Um, so, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's interesting because there, I mean, the benefits when you start looking at um, when people start adding CBD to um, their daily regimen, um, a lot of interesting things happen. You know, um, all of us do have a endocannabinoid system in our body, um, which not a lot of people know about. Um, so we always tell people, um, you know, the number one thing that that we do that we really strive for is education. Um, the amount of disinformation and uneducation in this industry is quite impressive. Um, it is starting to get better, um, but before 
anybody starts to take any of our products or if they're going to start adding hemp CBD into their daily regimen, they should be educated on what they're taking. So, you know, we always tell everybody, start with the endocannabinoid system. That's where people need to start. Um, people need to be educated on the system that is inside um, every human being's body. Um, that's kind of step one. So that's kind of where we, that's what, that's kind of where we start with people is definitely on the education front. So, uh, well, Scott, you asked a question in an interesting way. You said hemp oil. There is this nomenclature problem in the industry because people have been calling hemp oil that which is extracted from the seeds of the plant, the same way as sunflower oil would be extracted from the sunflower seeds, whereas uh, you also have this essential, essential oil of hemp that's extracted using a uh, organic solvent taken out of the body of the plant, which is what this specific hemp oil, CBD-rich hemp oil, is. It's an essential, essential oil of hemp. And, uh, of course, sure enough, people call both of those things hemp oil interchangeably, and it's causing a huge amount of confusion. Just yesterday I had a person call me and say, uh, I'm not getting any of the pain relief that we usually expect, and I bought this Nutiva hemp seed oil, hemp seed oil 10,000 uh, milligrams in capsules, and uh, it's doing nothing for me. Right. <laughs> And rightly not, because after all, that is just a basic essential fatty acid supplement, which is good for people, but not necessarily working on the endo endocannabinoid system that you're highlighting here. Correct. So why don't we describe a bit about that? What does it actually do in the body? Oh, man. So the endocannabinoid system is a very, very interesting thing. Um, you know, it's we live in an interesting time, Martin. Um, there's not a lot of research, there's not a lot of science out there um, on the endocannabinoid system. Um, there, there is starting to be um, a lot more research done, um, which is phenomenal. Um, some, of the, some of the studies and some of the research that is coming out of Israel um, with uh, Mr. Meshulam is phenomenal. Um, some of the things that they're on to is, I mean, it's very, very impressive stuff. But um, the endocannabinoid system, so it's, the endocannabinoid system is one of the largest systems in the body. So it connects the central nervous system with the peripheral nervous system. It is actually bigger than both of those systems combined. And so, um, you know, we need to be objective about that. And we need to ask, why is there this system in our body that seems to you know, connect the brain to all the organs inside of the body. Um, as far as, I guess, the best way to put it, uh, without going on an extremely long tangent tear, um, the endocannabinoid system is responsible for maintaining and regulating our homeostasis as human beings. So it's actually involved in almost every cell or definitely every organ throughout the body, monitoring and responding to stimuli as they come, right? Correct. So, um, I mean, the, the two big two big receptors, uh, the CB1 receptor, um, which is in the brain, that's the central nervous system. So we see a tremendous amount, an extremely high concentration of CB1 receptors throughout the brain and then various parts um, of the body. Um, the CB2 receptors are located um, in the brain, but also all the organs of the body. Um, so it's, I mean, it's a very, very impressive system. Um, I mean, it's, it's, phen it's a phenomenal thing. All right. Well, the way I understand it, it works in the system, or most of these transmissions go as a lock and a key. There is right. a lock waiting for a key to arrive, and it only opens when the correct key is inserted and turned. Correct. So there has to be this specific molecule arriving that's going to elicit a specific response. Correct. 
So, so the question I, that comes up for me then is what happens when you don't have the CBD oil in your system or you don't have this, these molecules that we're getting from the CBD oil? So it's interesting because our bodies actually produce um, cannabinoids. That cannabinoid is called anandamide, um, which again, a lot, not a lot of people know. Um, sorry, Scott, what was your question? What happens when you're low? Right. What happens when you're low? I mean, we, we take it, so obviously we're getting more of this stuff, and so what happens when we... What, so if I don't have very much of it, what's it, what am I typically going to be looking like? If I have lots of it, what am I typically going to be looking like? Okay, so um, I, I can speak to me personally. Um, when, I first started, when I first started taking CBD and started being very, very consistent on it, um, the very first thing I noticed was uh, my stress. Um, we live in a very stressful world. Um, you know, I think everybody could agree with that. Um, it's interesting because sh stress not only affects you mentally, but it affects you physically. Um, and then, so as I started taking, oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, so as I started taking it, um, that was the first thing I noticed is just stress right out the window. Um, it allowed me to be a lot more mindful, um, not making decisions based off um, emotional or being uh, an irrational, illogical decision. Um, and then I did a little experiment on myself, and then I stopped taking CBD and tried to do that for as long as I could. And the first week, I mean, you, I could notice how big of an impact really stress plays um, on our mind and body. Um, so for me, and kind of generally what we see is as soon as people start to take it, um, things just become a lot more clear, people can relax, people can think, um, kind, of, kind of take a step back from the everyday, you know, chaos of life. All right. I would see it as a, a positive thing. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how bad your world is, you take some CBD and you get a better perspective and you're better able to handle the inputs. Yeah? Correct. Like, Correct. I guess we could call it that the anxiety level goes down, the uh, obsessive thoughts that you might be having about something diminish. That's right. 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 Good. Scott. Well, I guess the other question is, is we've been talking to a lot of people in the fibromyalgia support group on Facebook. And uh, their question always is, is, will it help with pain? Right. Um, so it's, it's interesting. The, we're in a very unique position. We get to talk to a lot of people. Um, and the, you know, the, some of the best information and some of um, our happy customers are coming from the um, fibro, the MS, anything that pertains to the neurological system, um, some of our, I mean, that, that is probably the number one, probably our number one biggest area um, is nerve pain. And as those people start to take um, CBD, it's interesting that um, nerve pain seems to diminish quite quickly. So CBD is a uh, neuroprotectant, neuropathic, neurogenerative, um, and it, it fits, I mean, right in into that community. And we're seeing some of the, the, the best results from the fibro, the MS um, crowd. Cool. So I, this, I was just wondering this as you were talking, uh, but what about people that are like athletes, like high-end athletes, whether they're Olympic athletes or professional athletes or they just want to work out in the gym on the weights on a regular basis. Is there any um, any impact that CBD oil has on them? Yep, so CBD is a very powerful anti-inflammatory um, that's 
probably one of the, the biggest things that come from the athletic community uh, is people work out, uh, you know, damage, you're tearing down muscles, inflammation. Um, we have a um, ex-NFL player um, who is, he helps us, he, um, he works with us as well. Um, he cannot believe the results that he's seeing um, on CBD. And um, the biggest in that community is the anti-inflammation, which allows these athletes to recover quicker. Cool. I was hoping you'd say something like that. Exactly. So it turns out that it doesn't matter whether you're a uh, regular person or a professional uh, who's over-abusing his body. It ends up being that you lower the inflammation, and that is a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's a very good thing. Um, you know, next week we're actually going to a seminar in San Diego, the Southwest Cannabis Conference. Um, we are doing a, an entire line for ex-NFL players. Um, we've partnered with uh, Kyle Turley, former All-Pro. Um, he's been taking CBD, and he, he raves about it. And uh, it's been interesting because, you know, a lot of these... I mean, it's kind of actually a sad story, but a lot of these football players, um, ex-professional athletes, um, suffer from a lot of injuries, a lot of pain. Um, they go down the route of, you know, the prescription pill abuse, um, which is sad to see. Um, so it's cool because a lot of these guys, you know, live in states that do have uh, medical marijuana, um, but they are starting to really take a look at CBD. Um, and no, I'm, I'm excited for next week. Um, I'm, I'm excited for this launch with Kyle, um, the Gridiron Cannabis Coalition, Athletes Can. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a cool time because professional athletes are starting to really grasp and starting to use CBD in their daily regimen. I suppose we should back up for just a second. If I take this hemp oil, am I going to get high? You will not. So the high part or, um, well, the high part is THC. So that is the psychoactive component of cannabis. Um, our products, because they are derived from hemp, they do have a trace amount of THC in them, um, but it is not enough to get you high. Yeah, I meant, I meant to ask that question in the beginning because that's another thing that we always get asked about. Right. No, yeah, that's a that's a very, very common question. And, uh, we, you know, oh, go ahead, Martin. That's all right. Well, um, so you're talking about the relationships that your company is building with, uh, with clients. I, I would really like to know how you could introduce Redstrap. How's your product different from every other brand out there and what what sets you apart? Right, so good question. Um, so pretty much, um, you know, our company, you know, I, I've been into the hemp CBD industry for about three years, been on and off. Um, I really got into hemp when I was in college um, and then I had a buddy who sat down and made me really understand that the medical component of medical marijuana can also be extracted from hemp CBD. And then you start reading all the stories online of how powerful this is, and that was something that I could... I'm a logical person, um, and that was something that you just can't turn... Uh, you just can't turn a blind eye to. So, um, you know, for the last year, I've been really, really involved in the, the CBD market. Uh, started this company about four or five months ago. Um, I've put, basically I'm all in, 100%. Um, invested my own money, um, and it's been, it's been an awesome ride so far. So um, to get to your point, what makes us different, um, I've instilled Kind of the foundation of this company is fueled by purpose. Um, every aspect of what we do, from 
you know, our source, from our extraction, from our oil. Um, there's a purpose behind all of it. There, there are a lot of companies out there who um, none of that really matters to them because this industry is blowing up, and so people see an opportunity to make a quick buck. Um, we're not interested in that. Uh, we see what we're interested in is the health benefits um, from um, CBD and you know entering you know CBD into the daily regimen um, of people. So you know we we pride ourselves on um, you know purpose, and then we can get into the kind of that idea into each one of our products. Um, you want to jump into the product line? Sure, let's do that. Why don't we take a look at the CBD vape drip first? Okay. Um, so the so our vape and drip line. Um, so I guess one thing you know I should say is that we are a full spectrum, full entourage CBD company. Uh, we do not use any isolate in any of our products. So our vape and drip is an extremely popular product because in the vape industry right now is what we're seeing is. Um, a lot of products that um, a lot of products that are made with isolate, which are not very bioavailable to the body. Uh, we have some unique technology where we can take a full spectrum, full entourage, de-waxed oil, bond it to vegetable glycerin, allowing for a full spectrum vape, which uh, we're extremely proud of this line. Um, we've been getting phenomenal feedback. Um, and so, as far as this product versus, you know, other products in the vape industry, um, we are a full spectrum, full entourage oil that um, is bonded to glycerin, making it extremely bioavailable to the body. All right. So let's uh, let's highlight the issues. I understand that uh, most companies need to suspend this active ingredient in something. The most common I see is glycerin, and I also see polyethylene glycol, VG and PG, right? Correct. Correct. And, uh, Do you use the standard uh, process, or are you different in that? Uh, no, we're different in that. Uh, you know, again, we're a very, very health-driven company. Um, we, we have stayed away from propylene glycol. Um, you know, some of the things that are starting to come out about PG, um, we just we don't want to have anything to do with it. Um, so uh, we do have the unique technology to where we can, you know, utilize the oil in vegetable glycerin without PG, um, which is, you know, it's a it's a fairly new process. Um, I haven't seen many people um, who have what we have in our vape drip line. Okay, so the next question I have for you, Chase, is we have 150 milligrams per ounce, uh, 300 milligrams per ounce, 500 milligrams per ounce, and 1,000 milligrams per ounce. And what does that mean? So that is the milligram content of CBD per bottle. So 150, 150 milligrams, and so on. So that is the CBD concentration. How would I decide if I need to get 150 milligrams or 1,000 milligrams? Well, um, so this is where people kind of need to be mindful of these products. So, you know, we always tell people, you know, start at the 150. Um, if people are using it for something specific, um, anxiety, depression, um, nausea, insomnia, um, we have them start maybe at the 300 range, um, but because our products are bioavailable, um, extremely bioavailable, uh, we can get away with less dosing. So, yeah, okay, so start small and work your way up depending on how you feel. Correct. And if I, so if I have pain, like let's say I have MS or fibromyalgia or something else similar, I'm in chronic pain all the time, the 
rather than start at the 150 and maybe not see much of a difference, you'd start at the 300, see how I feel, and then if I feel a little bit better, maybe then go to the 500? Correct, correct, yep. And everybody, um, you know, everyone just needs to take that, you know, into, you know, into their own hands as far as dosing. I mean, everybody's body is so different. Um, I mean, we've had... You know, people who have severe pain, severe anxiety, and, you know, I thought they would be on a 500 or a 1,000 milligram, and 150 milligrams works perfect for them. Okay, cool. Uh, so the next big question, of course, is how does it taste? Oh, it's awesome. So because of our, because of our technology, um, because we are using a full plant extract um, and bonding it to glycerin, you get all of the active terpenes, all of the flavonoids um, in that product. So um, it's awesome. A lot of people, you know, because the, the vape market is so saturated with uh, crystal or an isolate, you know, there, there is no smell, there are no terpenes. Um, it's just an isolate. So, um, you know, some of the best part of, you know, my job, um, watching people smell our, our vape and drip line is priceless because it, you know, it smells very similar to, well, it's cannabis, and so it has that um, cannabis smell. So I guess one last question before we move on to the next one is uh, you wouldn't be drinking this. No, no, don't drink. I mean, you, you could drink it. Um, that product is also water soluble. So if you didn't want to vape it, um, you could also put it in water, shake it up, and um, you could also dose that way. But you're far better off looking at one of the other products if you want to uh, take it orally, right? Correct. Okay. So, so let's, let's uh, discuss what you actually need to be able to use this product. Do you happen to have one of these uh, devices on hand? Um, I don't personally, and my group just left. Um, I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, I was hoping that we could demo it, so I guess not. Okay, I'll get you on the next one, or I'll send you one. Well, that's not it. I wanted it on video where <laughs> you would show our customers what they do, how they use it. Okay, um, yeah. I'm sorry, man. I dropped the ball on that one. All right. Okay. So shall we look at Hemp Nectar, the next one? Sure. So our Nectar line, um, that's it's not necessarily our flagship product, but it is one of our most popular products. Again, the, the core of all of these products are based around bioavailability and routes of absorption into the body. So the nectars utilize our um, de-waxed, ultra-refined oil. Um, it's bonded to glycerin, which allows it to be water-soluble. Um, because it is bonded to glycerin, it, it is absorbed out of the stomach similar to alcohol. So you get a very quick effect. Um, you know, people usually report back to us. Um, they can feel an effect of this product usually within um, five to ten minutes. It has a, a very, very rapid onset. So this product we're, I mean, ex extremely proud of. It's become very, very popular, and we've been getting tremendous feedback from it. Okay, so this is uh, for people who don't like the taste of oil in their mouths, right? This will taste just plain sweet with a hint of hemp, correct? Correct, yep. It's, uh, you know, I love it. I love the taste of it because it's extremely hempy. Um, it's interesting when you actually bond the oil to the glycerin, it, it unleashes the smell of the terpenes and you can really taste um, the hemp in it. So um, if you're not accustomed to that, that taste is a little bit stronger than our oils. But, right. but is it, it is, oh, go ahead. I was going to say the bio extracts process, that's the process you're talking about that bonds. Um, is that 
Do you, are you the only people that use it, or how does that work? Um, we're not. So there is, um, you know, it's very interesting. This this industry is evolving very, very quickly. Um, I'm very excited to see where this industry is going to go in the next um, one to three years. Um, the technology that is out there, the innovation that is in this industry is very, very impressive. Um, it's very exciting. Um, there are people that, you know, do have this product. It's just we, you know, we're very, very forward, forward thinking people, group of people, um, and, you know, we're one of the first ones to have a full spectrum um, water soluble CBD. All right. So, uh, how do people use it? So, there. The best way to use it is to put it in your favorite beverage. Um, personally, the way I use it, the way I tell people, um, I have a water bottle here. Um, every time I drink a full. A um, full bottle of water, I put five to ten drops of the nectar in it, fill it up, give it a shake, and then I drink that throughout the day. So I'm constantly getting CBD throughout the day. You can put it in water, you can put it in juice. Some people drop it on their hand and just eat it right off their hand. Um, but a majority of the people do put it in. Um, their water or juice, shake it up, and then just drink that. All right. So again, uh, the dosage would be varied, right? Depending on a person's uh, requirement, body size, body weight, response, level of inflammation, all of that. Yeah. Correct. There are there are so many things to take into account when we start talking about dosing. Um, one thing that I've noticed when you know, doing this is it seems that the people who are the seem to be the sickest illness, injury, disease, um, their body responds very, very quickly to CBD at a very low amount. Um, and so, you know, we, we tell people start with five to ten drops, um, you know, be consistent on that for a couple days. If you're not getting the effects you like, then go up to 10 to 20. Cool. So I asked this about the last uh, one. I should ask it about this one. How does it taste? Awesome. It tastes good. <laughs> <even. laughs> uh, it, it's the very, I mean, the, our nectars are very identical to our vape drips. Um, we do add a bit of nano CBD into our nectars to make it a little bit more um, watery, um, but virtually this, the same taste. Which is hemp. Which is very, very hempy, yes. Well, I noticed that you have coconut and olive and natural, so uh, the coconut no. must obviously taste a little bit like coconut, no? The olive is gone. Sorry. Correct. Say so it again. Say it again, Scott. So I noticed that you have it in hemp and coconut. Sorry, I noticed you have it in hemp and coconut. Correct. We do have the two base oils. Um, the coconut is actually fractionated coconut oil. It's MCT. Um, we used to do the coconut. The coconut would solidify, uh, so we went away from that, and now we're just using um, MCT oil. Which stands for medium chain triglycerides, which is the stuff that makes your brain sing. When you get Correct. medium chain triglycerides into your brain, this is the carrier that's used for... Uh, uh, ketogenesis or ketogenics, which uh, are also quite popular elsewhere for their own reasons, and uh, this is the basis of the products that are uh, used for dealing with memory loss and uh, other issues associated with the aging brain. So you're getting a double benefit, not just the not just the um, CBD, but also the triglycerides. Correct, and that. You know, that is starting to become a very, very popular product as well. It's almost 
overriding the popularity of the hemp base, the hemp oil base that we have. Um, so it's no MCT. It's it's the thing right now. Does it taste coconutty at all? It doesn't. It doesn't. Um, it, MCT doesn't have any taste. Um, I personally really, really enjoy the MCT um, base because you get the full taste of the um, red strap CBD concentrate that is the base of all of our products. So um, the hemp, you know, hemp oil does have a taste, um, but in the MCT, because it doesn't have a taste, you really, really get to taste the 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 CBD concentrate, which, again, I'm a cannabis fan, so I really, I really enjoy it. So it tastes awesome. It does taste awesome. <laughs> All right. So the last one we want to talk about is no, the second last one we want to talk about is the hemp oil extract. Okay. Yeah, the the hemp oil extract. Um, again, the base. So, like I was saying earlier, the base of all of our products and the core of everything we do is bioavailability. Um, I am extremely excited, extremely proud of our product quality. Uh, we do go through a ultra-refining de-wax process. Um, that is why the company is called Red Strap. So, when you have a concentrate of CBD that is de-waxed and ultra-refined, uh, if you hold it up to the light, it has a very, very red tint to it. So we branded that quality of oil to our brand. Um, so the hemp extract is, you know, right now, you know, our most popular um, people. I mean, those essential fatty acids are very, very key. Um, and yeah, no, it's it's a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Hey Scott, so um, this probably ties up the uh, you know the hemp oil extract is either in hemp oil or in MCT. So it's it's this linguistics contortions that we have been trying to. Uh, Unconfuse people with. So you're dealing with the extract concentrate that's extracted from the hemp plant, the body of the plant, and it's either into the hemp seed oil that has been extracted from the seeds of the plant, or into the MCT, which is the um, refined coconut oil. Correct. All right, Scotty, let's go to the last one. You're muted. Scotty. Okay, here we go. The nano CBD shooter liquid. The evolving line. Um, unfortunately, the pictures don't match what's going on. We are currently evolving the line from its origins, origins, dose of nature. Correct. Uh, we should we should talk about the dose of nature, water technology some before we get into the product itself. Yeah. Correct. So the water technology is extremely unique. Um, it is a nanotechnology. Um, is what we do is um, it's a very very technical proprietary process. Um, but essentially, is what we're doing is we're taking water. Um, fracturing it, introducing nano-sized nutrients, um, extremely, extremely very small units of measurement, um, just an idea. Uh, they can take a grain of salt into 249 million individual pieces of salt. So extremely small units of measurement. Um, they can do that with virtually any, you know, solid, um, liquid. So the the CBD water is um, a structured water that has a CBD molecule inside of it. Um, because it's structured, we get down to three to five nanometers, which is extremely small. 
Um, liposomal, I think liposomal are down to 70 to 100 nanometers. Um, so our particle size is very, very small. Um, because it is so small, we get passive absorption into virtually every cell in the body. Um, there are more nano water particles in a tablespoon of water than there are cells in your body. So you don't need much. Um, I drink two ounces of CBD nano water a day. That is it. Um, I am extremely hydrated. Um, it's honestly, it is some of the most insane, weird tech probably on earth. <laughs> All right. So, would you say that uh, the uh, using the nano shooter is actually a better way to absorb the products than the other? Yes. So, as soon as this, as soon as you drink it, you are getting immediate delivery of CBD to cells in the body. So, as what happens is, as you drink it, the body or the cells in your body. Um, recognize that as water. So once that nano water particle is inside of the cell, the cell cracks it open and there's a CBD molecule. So is what it is, is it's, it's a very, very advanced delivery system that has nearly a immediate impact. All right. And this product is available also in three concentrations, yes? Correct. It's going to be available in 250, 500 milligrams, and then 1,000. And so with um, these shooters, you're going to get two forms. Um, you get a nano form, and then you also get a macro form. So it's kind of a, kind of a one-two punch. Um, it's been, I mean, we've seen some very, very interesting results in the... Um, MS, fibro community, um, autism, and cancer. All right. So it's pretty much all of the inflammatory immunosuppressive conditions. And so it's, I heard you say earlier that the smaller dose actually is just fine for the people who are just starting out with the product. Yes. Yep, so correct. We'll, we'll be recommending the lo lower dose and then if they see no effect, I guess they should double up or triple up and see if higher dose does it? Yep, increase. So, um, I mean, it's it's very, very powerful, interesting technology and just a product in itself. Um, it's it's cool, you know, it's probably the, one, the coolest part of my job is to watch how quick um, this product just overwhelms people. Um, you know, dealing with people who are you know high stress, high anxiety, um, stress. Um, I mean, when they take one ounce of the CBD nano shooter, I mean, within two to three minutes, I mean, it has a very very drastic drastic impact. Um, and that you know that last seems to last about um, you know four to six hours. Um, so people might need to do three small doses a day versus you know two ounces or two ounces throughout the day. So we typically have people start with one ounce in the morning and then one ounce at night. Um, but again, everyone knows their own body. If you need more, you know, definitely take more. If you need less, take less. All right. You used the words overwhelm and drastic, which I think are really. Uh, harsh words for uh, somebody who's in maybe a lot of pain and you mean these in terms of uh, improvements not in terms of catastrophic results right correct yeah just wanted to clarify that. yeah you right. get totally overwhelmed by this oh great i'm totally stressed now and he's telling me i'm going to be overwhelmed no the the speed with which you see improvement is amazing yes yes that's what i was referring to the speed is you know cuz it's you know, when you take something, you know, it takes a while to move through the body, out of the stomach, into the intestine. Um, and this product is, I mean, it's nearly immediate. Wonderful. That's great news for everybody. Right. All right. So the 32-ounce bottle is likely to be a two-week supply if you're hitting it hard, one-month supply if you're going light, yep? Correct. 
All right. How does it taste? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, the, the water, you know, it's interesting because just the, the water itself, uh, without the macro CBD, tastes just like water because the CBD is encapsulated, you know, within the water molecules. Um, so that has no taste, but we do add our... Uh, we do add the nectar, and that is the macro part of it. So that product, it will have a hemp taste and smell. So you better le learn to like hemp if you're going to be on these products. Yes, you better, yes. <laughs> well... Jason, I want to thank you very much for taking time to share these products with us and with all of our viewers. Uh, do you have a tip for everybody that's uh, that you want to leave us with? Um, yeah, you know, like we kind of started out earlier, um, education. People have to be educated on what is going on, uh, what is going on with the endocannabinoid system, and how CBD interacts with that system. Um, you know, when we're at festivals, trade shows, you know, out in the public, talking to people, that is the very, very first thing. You know, they come up and ask, what is this? Well, it's CBD. And then, you know, usually my question to them right after that is, do you know what the endocannabinoid system is? If the answer is no, then that's where we start with people because it's, it is so important that people understand the system inside of their body um, before they start supplementing um, with CBD. So, you know, education, that's, that's kind of my, my tip to everybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chase Hudson. Thank you, Red Strap. This is uh, and has been Life Enthusiast, your source of healthy products. We have a tagline, restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Yes. It can be reached at www.life-enthusiast.com. And our hemp products are also on remarkablerecovery.com. And you can reach us by phone at 1-866-543-3388. Thank you very much, Jason.